Dear student, I am going to start chapter number three. As we have studied in our chapter two, the last topic you remember, barriers in communication. Now we are going to start chapter number three. Our first topic is steps in planning. What is planning? What sort of step we should follow in planning procedure? They they might ask you question in a different way. So let's start with the definition of the planning. Planning is a specific action proposed to help organization to achieve its goal. Like everybody think plan something when we are doing business or any sort of thing we have to plan we have to think about it. There are so many ideas revolved in our mind and we have to manage ideas we have to plan in order to achieve its goal. Like in any organization or in any personal life, wherever you are, you have to think and you have to plan and you have to achieve its goal. So it's a specific action proposed to help organization to achieve its goal, to achieve its target, to achieve its planning. Planning is a decision in advance. To decide in advance, you have to think in advance. You have to plan in advance. What to do, how to do, when to do. This is very important thing. Like you have to plan, you have to think in advance what to do, how to do, when to do. When we are going to do any sort of business, for example, I have plan in my mind. Uh, for example, I want to increase my sale ten percent throughout the year. So I have to plan something. Now how to do, what to do, I have to plan. in order to achieve my goal in order to achieve this strategy so planning is very necessary we can say that planning is a mental exercise of man everybody think in his life even when we are sleeping our mind is working we are planning we are thinking and plan means like to manage ideas to think and something decide for future in advance you have to think about it so it's a process of decision making you can say that it's a process of decision making means we have to decide first what to do we have to decide it earlier and planning may be strategy goal objective any sort of procedure i have already given you example for example i said that i want to increase sales 10% i have to plan about the risk factor and other thing involved in this process throughout the year i have to come across with my you know different person uh, in that in order to achieve that steps in order to achieve that procedure in order to achieve that strategy or in order to achieve that goal so i have to plan in advance now there are steps in planning <clears throat> we have to follow these steps to achieve our goal number 1 to know the purpose means we have already for example we have to think k okay, we have we are communicating with the with the receiver sender is communicating with the receiver so sender have to think about it k okay, the what is the topic of that planning what sort of business we are going to start what sort of thing that we are going to do so we have to plan something we have a purpose in our mind we have a idea in our mind now to visualize to visualize the sender sender have to visualize the receiver a receiver background receiver education qualification personal background family it is a relation so we have to keep in mind we have to visualize we have to imagine we have to think about the person that we are speaking or we are dealing so in any sort of business it is very necessary to judge a person from you know our own perception from our own point of view now choose the idea this is very important we have there are so many ideas revolved in our mind we have 50 to 70000 thought in our mind i have already told you even when we are sleeping our mind is working so we have to jot down the ideas we have to we have to collect the ideas from we have to we have to pick up the main ideas that we think that these ideas will help us to achieve our aim in future we have to jot down the ideas we have to pick the ideas from the from the uh, you know whole procedure and and later on get all the fact all facts and figure for example if i am doing research then it's very necessary for me to first get all facts and figure regarding this topic all facts and figure about my research i have to you know judge something from my own perception each and everything required earlier i have to plan i have to think about it and and later on organize ideas 
लाइक वी हैव टू ऑर्गेनाइज ऑल द आइडियाज वी हैव टू प्लान समथिंग के डिफरेंट आइडियाज वी हैव टू ऑर्गेनाइज जॉट डाउन इन इंपॉर्टेंट आइडियाज अन इंपॉर्टेंट आइडियाज वी हैव टू कट इट आउट एंड लेटर ऑन वी हैव टू ऑर्गेनाइज आइडियाज एंड इन द एंड इट्स अ रिविजन बिफोर ट्रांसमिटिंग मैसेज टू द रिसीवर वट एवर इट मे बी इट्स अ सेल इट्स अ गुड विल इट्स अ इंक्वायरी वी हैव टू रिवाइज वी हैव टू प्रूफ रीड वी हैव टू राइट इट डाउन वी हैव टू जॉट इट डाउन वी हैव टू प्लान वी हैव टू रिवाइज इट देन वी वॉन्ट टू कन्वे दैन इट्स वेरी इजी फॉर एस टू बिकॉज थिंग्स विल बी ऑर्गेनाइज थिंग्स विल बी अरेंज इट विल बी ईजी फॉर एस टू अचीव अवर टास्क इट विल बी ईजी फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू अचीव इट्स स्ट्रेटजीज गोल so we can say that planning is a mental exercise it bridges the gap between where we are and where we want to be this is very important where we are and where we want to be in future we have to plan something we have to think about it we have to you know get facts and figure different ideas we, we have to jot down the ideas we have to think about it and the, and in the end we have to revise then we have to implement it now why planning is important planning provides direction to the organization it provide a way track to the organization we have to go on that track to achieve our objective achieve our goal it reduces the risk of uncertainties it's like in life there are so many uncertainties there are so many risk factor you know in a business there are so many risk factor we have to already plan we have to find it alternatives different ways if we got stuck on that point what we have to do in future so so we have to decide we have to decide these factor in our mind and that's why i already told you that planning is a thinking in advance and promote it promote innovations and new ideas when you plan something when you imagine something we have a primary imagination when we imagine something when we plan something there are so many ideas came to our mind and when we don't think obviously we don't got enough ideas so so later on we can say that planning facilitate decision making it will help organization to decide something to to you know decide something to achieve its strategy and and the last point it reduces overlapping and a wasteful activity means planning help us to you know you know save our time save our money save our material when we think we plan it actually save our money save our material for a businessman every minute is precious it saves his time to plan something so that's why i say that planning is a mental activity and it it we have to do it in advance to achieve our goal so that's it from the planning topic inshallah we will discuss next topic in our next lecture thank you for listening